This is your Honker highlight. The Honkers rallied to tie the game at 3-3 in the sixth inning, but a pair of wild pitches by Scott McGuff allowed two runs to score in the ninth, and the Lunkers emerged with a 5-3 win on Saturday night. Rochester fell to 18-10 in the half with the loss, while Brainerd moves to 13-14. The Honkers had plenty of chances early, but couldn't score on Brainerd starter Luke Rasmussen. Rasmussen issued five walks and hit a batter in just his first three innings on the mound, but the Honkers couldn't bring any of them home. Instead, it would be the Lunkers getting on the board first in the top of the fourth inning against Honkers starter Brett Mitchell. A pair of one-out singles by Mike Vaznicka and Michael Gedman put runners on for the Lunkers, and David Valicente smacked a double to score both and put the Lunkers on top 2-0. The Hawkers scored one in the bottom half of that inning, but Brainerd answered back with another run in the top of the fifth to maintain the two-run lead. But the Hawkers would break through against the bullpen in the sixth. Facing reliever Corey Walkley, the Hawkers got a leadoff walk before falling victim to two strikeouts, but Corey Jones and Aaron Dunsmore both drew walks to load the bases with two outs. Danny Brock was the next batter, and he connected for a two-run single to left that tied the game at 3-3. The score would stay there until the ninth, with Scott McGuff continuing on the mound after coming on for the eighth inning. He gave up singles to two of the first three batters he faced, but it was a pair of wild pitches that allowed both Gedman and Valicente to come home and give the Lunkers a 5-3 lead. Rochester did put itself in a position to rally with one-out singles in the bottom of the ninth by Rance Roundy and Danny Pulfer, but Lunkers closer Drew Smith got a ground out and a strikeout to end the game and complete the victory. Smith had come on in the eighth, so he earned the win to move to 2-2 on the year, while the loss fell to McGuff to send his record to 4-3. Both Corey Jones and Danny Pulfer had two hits for Rochester, while Brock picked up two RBI. Gedman and Valicente each had two hits for the Lunkers and combined to score three runs between them, while Valicente added two RBI in his own. The Hawkers are off on Sunday before traveling to Thunder Bay for a 6.05 p.m. game on Monday night. Brian Flynn will start for the Hawkers, while Randy Maurer will start for the Border Cats.